It's this old outboard, baby. All right, so real quick. This is how much foam I have, those pieces over there. This is the original piece that was in the boat. Anyway, I got this, and then to get the pink stuff, whatever. And, I mean, if I tied all this together, is it going to float that motor? I don't know. I just can't really see it. I don't know if you saw me cut that out. You just tune it in. What I did was took some spray adhesive, sprayed it, stuck the, the uh, cardboard together instead of trying to tape that stuff on. And you can see here, my adhesive did not hold. Let's go here. Like that. Can't believe that stuff didn't hold. It was the Gorilla Glue spray adhesive. So here's the back. The back looks like it held. And I knew here I left this piece out because I knew it would come out square. So and here's where my knee is going to come through, but I'll be cutting this out. What I'm going to have them do. Let's cut that piece of wood because I'm only going to get one piece per 4x8 sheet of wood. So I'm going to have to cut it where I need it cut instead of dragging home a whole 4x8 sheet. You know, it's just going to be easier for them to rip it for me. So the first piece, 61 and a half, I'll have them cut at 62. Because they're never on the freaking money anyway. Here we go. This is the... It's actually 19 30 seconds or 5 eighths. Same stuff I picked up for the transom except for 1 eighth thinner. And 1 eighth thicker then half inch so shouldn't have any flex problems so I had them cut it a half inch I mean uh, a full inch over what I said it was 61 and a half I had them cut at 62 and a half just to be on the safe side that would give me a little bit of trimming room because I think I may have to like uh, bevel the edges a little bit, you know. So I just want to make sure I got a little trim up room and stuff. Well, where am I going to put it? Get too big on there. But, don't have a lot of choices right now. Don't have a lot of choices right now. Damn, I'm happy. Finally getting getting the floorboard. Never thought I was gonna have to do that transom. Thought it was done. The guy said he did it. Bang bang boom. Alright, let me get my cardboard cut out here. Yeah.
Water. 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 There it is. <laughs> Let me get up in here. Oh, and out of the sun. Wrestled this baby in there. Oh yeah. Yeah, I screwed it up a little bit. Boy, that side looks nice. This side. Up. See, I started out on a good line and went off. So, screwed it up a little bit, but that's what I wanted right there. And I should have cut this side, taken the damn cardboard off and everything. And, uh, whew, man, hold on, my face is draining. <laughs> my face is drowning. You know, I kind of like that idea right there to stay off the back because, you know, any water comes flowing over, man, it's just going to pour right down in there and get drained out by the pump. And also, what I was going to say, when I put that transom in, and my first thoughts were, you know, it's going to pack these damn corners all the way down, pack them, pack them, pack them with sealant. But I've changed my mind. I might, I might, you know, put a finger layer on there over the rivets. But I'm not going to do that. I want to, I'm just going to put the sealant right along where the holes are, where the bolts go in. One line right down both sides. So I'm in the trough here, whatever you call that piece. And uh, and I should be good. Uh, I want to keep it open. You know, if water gets in there, I don't want it sitting in there. I want it, the air to get in there so it can dry. So the back of that transom board and the sides and the top and the bottom are all resined up, you know. So I don't need tons and tons and tons of sealing. I gotta mark my, what do you call these damn things? My stringers down there, because I'm gonna cut that out, you know, from one stringer to the other so it's open and, and water can drain. Because I'm not, you know, putting this thing in the water way before that damn splash well is gonna be ready. So anything coming in, it's gotta go out fast. There's no flex in this. It's the same piece of wood as this. So, that's it, man. That's it. It'll be good when I get it done. All right, so I centered it up a little bit better and uh, pulled it back a little bit farther. And Maybe I will come all the way back. I don't know yet, but just centering it up looks much better. And you know what? I can fix this. I can fix this with some fiberglass. No biggie. No biggie, baby. All right, let me do one more thing while I'm here. I've got that carpet that I want to put up in these sides for rod holders or whatever the hell I'm going to do in there. It's just some kind of little storage or something i'm gonna see if that carpet's gonna fit if i got enough so i got this stuff here that i was gonna spray some stuff in there and just tack it in like this and just want to make sure if, if i had enough for both sides or not no so i can pretty much see Might have to do a little piece work. Oh, it's just a little short. Just a little short. Well, damn, I got enough, but it's just a little bit short. Lengthwise. I mean, I can get it in there, but. All right, we'll see. Not a biggie. Not a biggie. That should look good, a little red, white, and blue. All right, get out of here. Whew. 
Also, that piece I cut off, that extra piece, I bet that'd fit perfect in the John boat. Right up front there. Little deck. <laughs> oh yeah, baby, next time on this old uh, outboard. Comments from viewers. Two guys, both said the same thing. Get a pick. Pick the old O-ring out. And then somehow <laughs> slide the new one back in. And I'm like, really? That can be done? I mean, I don't know how am I going to get that in there. Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of This Old Outboard. Tons more stuff coming your way. Follow the real life saga of This Old Outboard, baby. And get your subscription today. It's This Old Outboard, baby. You know the channel.